Hello, welcome to Paris. Today I'm in France, but not just anywhere in France, Paris, France. And we're gonna be taking a look at five different Parisian hotels at five different price points at five different neighborhoods and giving you an idea of where you should be staying on your next trip to the City of Lights. So let's go take a look. Okay, first hotel on our little tour of Paris. It's a new property called Hotel Paradiso, and it also happens to be the most affordable one on our list. Now, the thing that I'm most excited about is also one of the most unique things about this hotel. It is a cinema-themed hotel. There are projectors in the room so you can watch movies right from bed. There's movie posters throughout the hotel, and you can order popcorn from room service. How cool. There's also a small cafe downstairs and a rooftop bar complete with a movie screen. However, the location isn't for everyone. I really enjoyed being close to Gare Lyon and some really beautiful parks. However, it is a little far from many of the main attractions like the Eiffel Tower or the Louvre. That said, the rooms themselves are pretty spacious, comfortable, the staff is super friendly, and I would highly recommend this hotel for anybody on a budget and especially if you love film and cinema. This is just such a fun place for that. Okay, next we are transporting ourselves to the Roaring Twenties with a stay at Hotel Rochechois. We're going up a bit in price here, but we're also upgrading a lot in location. This hotel is in the Pigalle neighborhood, which is right near Montmartre, and the building itself is from the 1920s. It was recently updated in 2020, but worry not, all of that historic bohemian charm is still there. They've even reopened this historic dance hall down in the basement that was a super popular place to go out and dance and party in the 1930s. In addition, they also have a brasserie that serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a really cool rooftop bar that has beautiful views of the Sacré Coeur. That said, the rooms were on the small side and the electricity was a bit dubious, but I think that's okay if you're looking for a really lively, and bohemian scene here next to Montmartre. So this next hotel I'm going to show you isn't a hotel at all. It's a fully serviced apartment designed for travelers. The place that I'm staying in is a two bedroom, but they also have smaller studio and one bedrooms as well for a little bit of a lower price. This place is owned and run by a company called Edgar Suites, which was started by two brothers, two Parisian brothers who really know the city super well. They have several buildings throughout the city, each of which are incredibly beautiful and in these amazing locations. This particular one is in the first arrondissement, super close to the loop. It's about a 10 minute walk away. It's a great location, but it's also a beautiful design forward space. Think of it like where your cool architect friend would go on vacation. But more than that, their apartments are very professionally managed. They have a virtual concierge on WhatsApp. They provide airport transfers, luggage storage, and it just feels a lot more like a hotel than just some random vacation rental because of those additional amenities. Overall, this is the place I would recommend if you are staying for longer or just wanna kind of feel like you're living that the Parisienne. Now, before I forget, there's actually one thing that I definitely want to show you because this apartment used to be a museum and it is located in a 17th century building, which I know it doesn't really look like it right here where I am right now, but um, let me show you where it does look like that. We are back in the 11th arrondissement with a stay at a hotel called Maison Bourguette. It's a five-star property that is located in a building that used to be a washing machine factory of all things. These days, it's a hotel, obviously, and it's very luxurious. At the same time, it's not stuffy or uptight. It's actually very youthful and fresh. There's even this beautiful garden-like restaurant and bar down on the first floor. For the rooms, they're spacious, they're comfortable, and um, can we talk about this bathtub? On site, we also have a indoor sauna and swimming pool, and we haven't even talked about the location yet. 
It is right on the edge of the Le Marais neighborhood, and there's tons of bars, restaurants, and nightlife right outside. Overall, I'd highly recommend this hotel for couples or somebody who just wants to experience a little bit of trendy luxury and be right in the center of a lot of Paris's best nightlife food and drinks. I mean, what more can you want? Okay, we are at our final hotel of our tour here in Paris, and we're going out with a bang. This one is a more than five-star property located in the 8th arrondissement near the Champs-Élysées and Arc de Triomphe. Its name is Le Royal Monceau Raffles Paris. It used to be a convent before it was transformed into a hotel in the 1930s. As you can imagine, it's the most expensive hotel on our list, with starting rates at a little over 1,200 euros per night. But for that price, you are getting a beyond five-star experience. In fact, this is considered a palace hotel, which is a special designation of hotels here in Paris that are just ultra luxurious. For example, rooms come with an enormous walk-in closet, they have marble bathrooms, plush bathrobes, toiletries for French brand Clarins, and they even have a personal butler for guests. But it doesn't stop there. On site, there's a bar and lounge. There's a one Michelin star restaurant called Il Carpaccio. There's a full service spa, indoor swimming pool, and my favorite part, a brunch service so good that even local Parisians come here to eat. That's truly really saying something. One unique thing about the Royal Monceau though, especially among this category of palace hotels, is that it's truly a hotel for art lovers. You're going to see paintings and sculptures throughout the property. And in fact, the property itself is a work of art with a lot of really interesting design features. There's even an art gallery on site and an art concierge. They really embrace this. I would wholeheartedly recommend this hotel for anybody who wants a super luxurious, pamper yourself kind of Parisian experience. It is an incredible, incredible hotel. All right, so that ends our little hotel tour of Paris. And here's a list of all the hotels that we visited, ranging from least to most expensive. Now, I would recommend each and every one of these properties for different reasons. Hotel Paradiso is an affordable, fun hotel. Rochechoir has a very lively jazz era party scene. Maison Bourguette is that laid back luxury. Edgar Suites is a group friendly, fully serviced apartment. And then Le Royal Monceau is that over the top luxury that everybody dreams of having in Paris. Now, if this wasn't enough, we have a full list of our favorite hotels in Paris on afar.com. And I will link to that in the description below. Go check it out. But in the meantime, we'd also love to hear from you. Which of these hotels are you most likely to stay in? And are there any that you'd like to see a more in-depth tour of? Let us know in the comments below and thank you for watching. Bon voyage!